Okay, um, in our course we're going to be using uh, Metadata Viewer. I'm going to launch this by Pinpoint. It's one of the applications on the disk that you uh, would be uh, copying this evening to your USB sticks. And this is um, essentially what it looks like when you first bring it up. In order to see the metadata of a file using this program, um, we can come down to Browse and then go out and select um, a file, whatever it might be. In this case, a, it's a cover letter. Open it and it gives me some of the metadata down here. It shows me the file path. This is system metadata where the file is stored at this moment. Uh, the date it was created, 11-3-2014 p.m. Uh, the last time it was modified on the 15th um, of 2015 at 1.41 um, and 31 seconds. The last access um, is 11-3-2014. Uh, um, now this is interesting because here it says last modified 1-15-2015 and the last accessed 11-3-2014. What this probably means is that the file was copied on the 15th to this location but was not opened. Um, and on that particular um, date it was um, modified on the 15th by being copied. But the last time it was accessed was the same day that it was created. Um, but then the last modified date, meaning it was system metadata was modified, it was probably copied on the 15th to this location from somewhere else. Over here on the right, you see the file size in bytes, 11,822 kilobytes. And then you have hash numbers, MD5 hash, SHA-1 hash, and SHA-256 hash. All of these hash numbers are unique fingerprints for this particular file. No other file will have these hash numbers except this file and an identical copy of the file itself. Um, so this is how you can determine uh, whether one file is exactly the same as another. Now up here you notice if this file had other metadata in it, like the title, the author, comments from, that are internal, embedded in the file, and the application name that created it. All of this data would be here. These check marks are so you can decide which of the metadata you want to copy into a um, file, like a Word document uh, that documents um, what information um, you want to put into Word. Now I got a runtime error um, and I've noticed that when I click on the file size um, in this uh, shareware version of their program we do get an error so I'm going to have to come back to it here. Click OK and I'll just relaunch it here. And I'm going to pick the same file again. And go out to the cover letter and open it. I'll see the same information. So now I'm going to check these boxes. I'm going to avoid checking the file size one. But what I could do is just say copy all instead of just copy selected. And I think I'll do that so in case there's a little glitch over here again. I'll just say copy all the metadata that's available. And then once I do that I can go into uh, Word and create a blank document. And then I can um, paste it into here. So I'm going to right button click and, whoops, sorry, right button click and, and in the body of the um, document and uh, paste it in. So now I have um, a copy of all the metadata, even those fields where there wasn't any metadata available to me, uh, the, the categories have been copied into the Word document. Um, and you know, file size did come through, even though I 
couldn't check it because of the glitch in their software program. That's a shareware version. Now, Pinpoint um, Metadata Viewer is a shareware version um, of their more powerful uh, program, and it does a pretty good job, but in a professional environment, you would purchase probably a license for their professional version, and it would uh, drill a little bit more deeply maybe into the metadata for you, and it might have come up with more of this data than um, their shareware version did. Uh, we'll be talking more about metadata and uh, e-discovery forensics as we go along in the uh, course, but you should know how to uh, use it to get metadata out of a file, whether it be a photograph or a doc Word document or an ex um, access database, whatever file type it might be, and then copy that data into memory and paste it into a Word document. Oftentimes paralegals need to keep a, a record um, of the metadata for a number of different files. and. Sometimes you'll put them into Word. Sometimes you'll paste them into a um, access database or some other kind of um, of a database. All right.